This is Gary Atensa with CNTV, and today we're in New Jersey. I'm here with Joanna Renner. Since 2016, this Feng Shui realtor is helping people achieve the highest possible sale price for their home and buy houses at the right prices in New Jersey and surrounding areas. I'm joined by Joanna, who is realtor, life coach, Feng Shui practitioner, and mother of three. Um, thanks so much for joining us here today. It's my pleasure. Let me ask you, Joanna, you were formally educated at New York University. You hold many licenses and certifications. You're a formal financial advisor. You've been licensed to provide life, health insurance. You've been a top producing realtor in the New Jersey area. Recently, an intuitive life coach, um, be it for individuals or corporate America. Share with us how uh, a mother of three, whom you have homeschooled, still finds time and passion to serve others. I am a lifetime learner. I love to learn and I have an insatiable appetite to acquire new qualities and skills. And um, so the time is just every day, every moment. That is excellent. I mean, since the early 20s, you have been passionate about business. Uh, you're trading commodities with top producers at Merrill Lynch. Um, at a young age, you really hit the ground running. Why do you feel the life skills that you have developed along the way and you now share with others are maybe more needed today than ever before? That's an amazing question. I do see that cookie cutter um, roles that are involved in business are completely outdated right now. And what I mean is that everyone, I believe, is ascending. People are now energetically vibing other people. So in business, if you are not soul to soul business, it is very, very obvious. And um, sales tactics and, and ways to, to close deals are now obsolete. And right now, I believe the genuineness of the connection from person is really, really what is working. And so if you want to, if you want to be successful, you just have to be really genuine Come from that place. You know, the imposter syndrome is so obvious. Everyone is uh, hip to that and you really cannot trick energy. I mean, obviously you have a mindset which produces high levels of motivation, positivity. I mean, overall good energy. Um, how has your natural energy a good fit for the further study of the energy of Feng Shui. How did that interest first start for you? Well, I do believe in the law of surroundings. So because our thoughts influence a lot of what the reality is that we experience, if we have visual reminders in our surroundings, um, that also boosts the ability to control what our future results are. And particularly with feng shui, I am extremely aware of the elements and each element possesses a quality. So we ourselves possess many qualities. However, there are deficiencies that we all have. So in feng shui, every object, everything, every color, presents a quality. So if we can strategically surround ourselves with the qualities that create more of a balance for us, particularly uniquely to us, then we have much higher chances of positivity and production and successful outcomes. I mean, you're now a top producer with Keller Williams. Um, why has real estate, I mean, the real estate industry, continue to be the foundation of, of many aspects of what you offer? I think that real estate is a backdoor entry to my true life purpose. So when I am working with family, I believe that it's my, it's my purpose to connect on a much deeper level with my clients. And it's also how I am able to attract just those type of people that actually would benefit from me as a whole individual. So what I offer is that I see patterns in people. So I see a pattern that is in a person that keeps repeating over and over, producing negative results. 
our lives in general, I'm able to pull that pattern and show them how to be aware of it and then replace it with the positive opposite so that they can then refocus on exactly what it is that they want. In real estate, you cannot receive the desired outcome that you want unless you are in the matching vibrational frequency of the desired outcome. And more often than not, when you're stuck in a bad situation, you are also stuck in the bad frequency of the situation. So my vibration energy lifts people to a higher frequency so that the solution can come. Sometimes it's not moving. Sometimes it's staying right where they are. And the fact that I'm honest about it is what gets me so many referrals. And um, so I, I just feel that the real estate world kind of like captures all of the the value that I've accumulated throughout my professional career all into one, you know, creative writing. I write the descriptions, uh, presentation. I do feng shui. I do, like all wow. those things are lifelong things that I have in my little bank of talents. So with real estate, it's almost like it's the perfect place for me to exercise and share all of these talents all at once. So when someone calls for a listing agent, and they receive me <laughs> as their listing agent, they have no idea what they're in for. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Quite, quite a bit of talents that you're bringing to the table. Quite a, a bit of, of talents, heart. definitely so. Do you really enjoy getting to know your clients? I mean, as they seek out their dream home, and would you say it's still the American dream to own your own home? I do, I do believe that. I do. So the reason why I enjoy my clients so much is that I create, uh, we together create sort of like a, a very high vibrational, fun teamwork energy. A lot of times we have no control over what the other side of the transaction is doing. We do have control over our side of the transaction. So when we are very tight and we are very, uh, communicative and all of the communication is really spot on instantaneous we feel very empowered with that and and we have we, we sort of like develop this camaraderie and this um this this fun and when we close it's it's like it's just fantastic and it, it just really creates like a lifelong friendship so my clients my clients and i are able to keep things very professional, but at the same time, totally unprofessional at the same time, because that's the real energy, that's soul to soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, when you yourself went house shopping in New Jersey for your expanding family, you experienced the excitement, um, but also the frustration, urgency, the stress. What you learned through that experience, did, you, did it help create the type of realtor that you are today? Oh, absolutely. Because I, so prior to being in, involved in the real estate uh, world, I was placed in two failing branches, two failing bank branches. And what I do is I see and I feel the energy and I correct the energy and I correct the energy by correcting the attitude in the people. So when there's, what I was able to do was I was able to get those branches that were failing to, to meet their goals in only half the time. When I moved to New Jersey, I noticed that the real estate agent um, was aware of a process, okay? If you're aware of a process and you are serving someone that's not aware of a process, wouldn't it be better if you taught the process in such a way that empowers the buyer so that they know what comes next? So that led me to really tighten up the entire process and also to develop a buyer guide. My buyer guide speaks in a conversational tone so that when you finish reading this guide, you feel like you went through a transaction even without going through the transaction. And it's, it's quite uh, empowering because then you kind of feel like you know what you're talking about when you're talking to all the other professionals that are involved in the transaction. Back of my guide, it has a checklist. This checklist is, my clients say it is a lifesaver. Okay. They put it in the fridge. They're always looking at it. They feel empowered because they know they're not leaving anything out. This is what I found to be a fault when I moved to New Jersey. I found that my realtor sort of like assumed that I knew everything. And so, although I'm, I'm very um, intelligent with financial, you know, background, 
the process of buying was my first time, was my second time actually, but buying in New Jersey is totally different than buying in New York. And I previously bought in New York. The process is completely different. And I also wrote a blog article specifically designed for people coming from New York and New Jersey to, to illustrate the differences between buying and selling in New York and how it is in New Jersey. So definitely, definitely my experience sort of like birthed um, <laughs> the new process that I now share with my clients. Wow, that is interesting. I mean, you are known as the New Jersey Feng Shui Realtor. How would you say Feng Shui sets you apart from the other realtors out there? Well, I feel like everybody is trying to brand themselves to sort of stand out. And so I figured that this, this natural knowledge talent that I have and that I also created a Feng Shui course um, would help me to stand out. So I developed, I started to just run with that. Although my Feng Shui Your Home course sort of evolved into Feng Shui Your Life. Why? Because we have, I have particularly amazing techniques that get you completely unstuck. A lot of people are in a loop cycle of unhappiness. And I have these amazing techniques that I've learned from so many different other areas of my uh, experience, experiences. And then I've developed easier ways to convey them. I've developed easier ways to actually transfer all of my knowledge into someone else. And just from one coaching session, just from one coaching session, people are sending me text messages saying, wow, I just can't believe it. You won't even guess what happened to me today. And so it's really a shift in the energy that I create with my techniques. So, so it's the feng shui is just one little element that I try to share. Yeah. It's like bursting, bursting, bursting with all of this, this knowledge and, um, and I want other people to be as high vibrational as I am. So I want to share these techniques. And a lot of my social media is, uh, is um, you know, not professional. You know, I'm on TikTok and uh, I'm very real. So I will do TikTok videos where yeah. my people are just very regular, you know. <laughs> and what other people would say is embarrassing. You know, no makeup, messy hair, that kind of thing. But I'm very real. So I'm all over social media and I feel that people need to understand and be themselves. So if, they're, if I can encourage other people to feel comfortable being themselves by seeing me be myself, you know, being silly. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> you said, be- like you said before, we're talking about a genuine connection is really what is created between you and the client. Client satisfaction, understanding a person's specific needs. I mean, that's always come naturally to you. How did this gift maybe help make that decision to expand beyond real estate and help others through life coaching? Text messages. I received so many text messages. Joanna, I, you literally helped me manifest you know, the, the love of my life. You've helped me manifest um, a, a job promotion. You've helped me manifest my relationship to be easier. You know, all of these text messages were pointing to me and saying, wow, you know, this is powerful stuff. I am seeing significant changes in people's lives here. So I think maybe that is my life. However, real estate is a way for me to uh, be exposed to all these people. So it, it all, it all is like connected. And um, I just, I just, my, my, I really feel fulfilled when I get those, when I get those messages, my satisfaction comes from People being obviously successfully lo- relocated, right, and and um, happy with their financial abundance from maybe selling at the high sale price, all of that stuff, and you know the, the lack of stress. But mostly, mostly, when I know that I change the way someone perceives their life and their world, and I've allowed them to learn that they are a creator being in their body, that this power or this energy that I have to manifest and my kids always tell me, mommy, do your hippie magic. (laughs) I mean, Um, (laughs) this power that I have, you have, you have, everyone has, everyone has it. So if I empower you to understand how, to understand how powerful you are and that you have these super, super techniques to do it that feel playful because playful is really the key. You will change. Major changes in your life just from one session. 
That is great. I mean, you're a life coach for corporate leaders, realtors, for those who are relocating. Do you enjoy sharing the skills that you've developed through the years? I mean, you've dug deep into the intricate details of understanding really the art and the science of what sells, why it sells. Are these strategies anyone can use uh, with your guidance? I do believe that. I, I coach other realtors and I wholeheartedly share all of my techniques um, without the energy of competition. I believe that there's enough business to go around for everyone. And I don't feel that there's, uh, that, that there's any room for, for competition amongst, amongst my my peers and my colleagues. And every time that, that I see a pattern in someone, I want them to know what the pattern is. And I energetically pull it out and we infuse the positive opposite. So we, we, have, we have the power to really shift, instantly shift yeah. our world. So many stories that, that prove that. I mean, you've been involved in business since the late 90s. You've seen and experienced much change in business. I mean, gone are the days of simply placing a sign on the lawn, and selling a home. You now teach others how to benefit from social media, digital marketing. You've really grown a network of professionals and resources. Is marketing an aspect that is critical to your success today? Absolutely. So key. Uh, getting yourself out there repeatedly getting yourself out there is very, very important. So when a realtor solely relies on the MLS system to expose people and buyers to their listing, they are actually leaving out so much more exposure, that so much more potential exposure. So when let's say you're, you're a, a homeowner, anyone can just put your listing on the MLS for other realtors to then see when they're doing their searches for their buyers. However, when you understand how to target market places, let's say where the taxes are higher, you know, that your listing has lower taxes, you can target the place where taxes are higher and, and um, you can target places that are, you know, where the buyers are seemingly coming from. There's target marketing is fantastic and it, it really adds to the exposure and it also it also adds to the amount of showings that you do wind up having. So when you have, the more showings you have, the higher the sale price uh, because of the competition. That, that is wonderful. It's crazy how technology is incorporated into every industry out there, but even more so on real estate. You're a life coach, realtor, feng shui teacher, trusted advisor, mother, wife. You really have never allowed yourself to be defined as one particular label. Yet, each label that describes you is really about helping and serving others to the absolute best of your ability. Does helping others continue to be rewarding for you? Is it still your passion that gets you up every day? It's, it's, it's super fulfilling. It motivates me. It, it, I just, um, so every day I do a meditation. And this meditation connects me to the source. So we all have the ability to connect to pure source. And when you connect to pure source and fill your body up with love energy, and everyone's like, love energy? What does love have to do with business? Love energy is the energy frequency that draws in all the people, places, circumstances, and events that will, will give you everything what you want, everything that you love. So if you are starting out your day with this love energy, Okay. And then, of course, this love energy that you're infusing your body with comes from above. And it's, it's pure creativity. It's unlimited, unlimited source, right? Most people forget that we are here on this planet. Okay. So there's planetary energy that we need to connect to. Planetary energy means people, places, events, and circumstances in our 3D world. So if we connect to, to this energy field that is here on this earth at the same time as above and we're infused like we're plugged into two outlets and we fill ourselves so much that we start to overflow this energy i call it like instant charisma you know people are just drawn to you because you're overflowing this energy frequency that makes others feel warm and cozy makes other people feel comfortable they just 
feel you. You know, you could fill your whole car up with your energy. Your body is just your body. Your your energy can expand out to the far reaches of the universe. And once you realize that, uh, it is from this expanded state that is that frequency that actually draws in everything what you want in your day. So my morning meditation, I create um, my day. I say, this is my day today, and I want to add all the things that I want. Uh, clients that genuinely appreciate clients that would benefit from my techniques, my services, you know, and kindness, uh, laughter, joy. I just add everything that I want to my day in the beginning. And so do my children. I teach them that because when you have control over your day from the morning, from the morning, you will see at the end of the day that you manifested your day. <laughs> Most people think about what they're worried about. Most people think about what they don't want. (laughs) And so a lot of people have it backwards. They see their outer world and then they react to it. What the real truth is, is that that outer world is a projection of what you were thinking. That is fantastic. We have enjoyed sharing your energy with our viewers out there. Viewers, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen right there, what you're going to see is her website. On the website, you're going to learn more about the real estate services that she provides, whether you're buying or selling her vast experience and deep understanding of the real estate industry will be at your service. Um, Her contact information is right there as well for life coaching. Um, It's right on the screen. If you're ready to add more value to your life and maybe get unstuck move forward Um, she can definitely help you there as well check out the reviews she's got great testimonials on the site as well Um, she's not only a feng shui practitioner but she is a teacher you can order the feng shui course that she has provided right there online for you Uh, once again that is joanna renner the new jersey feng shui realtor this sought after professional is helping people with a dynamic approach and unique strategies. This is Gary Atensu with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.